guest star is Russell Crowe's imaginary friend and a beautiful mind. Now he's winning rave reviews for his performance in the feature film Master and Commander of the Far Side of the World. Please welcome Paul Bettany. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm English. Uh, Sit down uh, first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I always forget about the double kiss, too. There's I, always two kisses. Uh, do you ever get stuck in the air because people pull back and then you're by yourself out I, there? I, they always pull back, yeah. which is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, it's embarrassing. It's always <laughs> awkward to have that thing anyway. Yeah. And then there's another kind of kiss where there's one, two, and then back to the same place you started. That's the Russian. Is that Russian? I know a lot about kissing. Yeah. <laughs> Please tell us. <laughs> I can't go into it for fear uh, of being sued. Okay. <laughs> really? Wow. Um, so, well, well, you're married anyway. You probably now just you just have uh, you experiment with the kisses with your beautiful wife. Yes, that's right. And you met Jennifer Connelly as your wife, and you met her on the set of uh, A Beautiful Mind. That's yes, your I wife. Did. Look at that. That's my wife. What I love. Um, what I love about this photograph is um, it makes me look deep because everybody, uh -huh. everybody is thinking, how did she snare him? Because yeah. she's quite plain. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a shame about the looks of both of you. She's had to battle so much. Yeah. She's, she's beautiful and uh, you're a good looking couple. Thank you very much. S so now you've got the holidays coming up and... It's her birthday today. Today. Happy birthday today. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, 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 I did the um, rather stupid thing of marrying a woman whose birthday was on the 12th of December, and then I married her on January the 1st. So I've got this, th these three presents to get, and I'm in a sort of gift crisis yeah. at the moment. It's That's a so, and you get one, you don't just get one big when you do birthday, Christmas, and anniversary? I, I should see through a cheap trick like yeah. that if I just did the one, you yeah. know, and it would be violent. It would probably <laughs> end, end in violence. Uh -huh. yeah. And what have you gotten her? Did you get her anything yet? I got her, I, did... I, got, I got her a very beautiful watch. Okay, does she know that? No. Okay, now she does. No, I know. <laughs> But it's today, hopefully, yeah. I'll have... Oh, do you it. want some champagne? Th that's yeah, mine. I'm, I'm a bit furious yeah, about, about a couple of things. What's the um, matter? Well, number one, oh, oh. Diane Keaton isn't still here. She wanted to be here. Well, I wanted her to be here because I'm an enormous fan of hers. And number two, Hold on. I, I haven't got champagne. And the, uh, you will now. The other thing is there was no booze in my fridge, in my dressing there room. There wasn't. And um, I'm slightly panicky about it because... I was wondering whether you were a Mormon or something like that. No. Because, so I actually rang up The Tonight Show and they sent me beer over. Really? That's, that's the true thing. That's Stephanie, who is the producer of The Tonight yeah, Show. Yeah, we know I had Stephanie. To get my booze. So here's, yeah, but we're giving you champagne. Maybe Bless they you. gave you beer, but we're giving you champagne. It's much better. Would so you like a cigarette? That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, they just come right out of the... Out of the ...back horses. area. Just, just... No? Oh, why do we only have one? Oh! Oh, oh. oh that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Yeah, so that's for later on, in case you want that. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Whatever else you need, you ask us first. I'm going to ask you. Yeah. I, I don't, don't ask. There was no booze in the... In there was the... no booze in the fridge. There was no booze even for cash. Oh, no. And believe me, I, I tried to oh. find it. You know, <laughs> really? No, I'm English. We'll make sure. We'll take care of that <laughs> next time. Was there any... Well, there was... Did you eat your underwear? I did get my underwear. I was going to wear it and on, but I... I you thought, didn't? No, I thought it might throw you. Not at all. Really? It, no, it would have been lovely to wear the underwear. Bless you. I'm not yeah. wearing any? it now. I, I, I actually... I'm not wearing any underwear now. No? <laughs> oh, why? I, see, I have no boundaries. It's no. terrible. I must... Yeah. That's, we get the we get the stuff on this show that nobody else gets. Mm. Yeah. Like That's information. You that won't hear that on Regis and Kelly. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. Um, so you actually uh, you're you're a dad too, right? I am. I, I'm a dad. What's that like to be? How old's the baby? It, it, he's four months. That's and cute. It's it's wonderful. And what is that like? Well, it, thank you very much. It was actually a, a sort of um, a, a fumbled five minutes. A couple of months ago, um, the, 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 yeah, it's 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 wonderful. 
I don't deserve a round of applause. My wife does, yeah. but I, I don't. Wait, um, hold it's... on, because I really need to follow up on that uh, fumble uh, for five minutes, but we have to go to commercial, so you'll have to explain that when we come back. Okay, All I right, will. we'll be right back. Everybody says it. We have the best audiences here. Every single person that comes on the show says she it. They are great. Terribly um, enthusiastic. Paul, uh, we're back with Paul Bettany. Paul, uh, you, the, the four-month-old baby. Yes. You know, because you, you seem like you know this this guy that's like out and about, but you're at home with a baby, and you have to be, uh, you know, that has to change you. Yeah, having having um, uh, babies changes you. Mm-hmm. I, I, I've become an imbecile. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody actually talks about how, you know, I mean, I, I, I am capable of homicide now if anybody, you know, hurts him. Yes. But, um, th let's, it changes let's... you. I've become, an, I've become an imbecile. If he poos, I celebrate. Mm -hmm. he, he actually pooed on me when I was changing his nappy. He pooed all over me. Uh-huh. And, and what happens is you go, yay, you can poo, you're a genius. <laughs> Oh. And, and none of my friends will talk to me anymore. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm really dull now. You know, my baby pukes on me, and I ring my friend up and go, well, you never guess what happened. Yeah. yeah. Well, it seems you're a little obsessed with bodily functions, but, I, you know... Massively. I thought maybe, because you would, you, you have a baby, and you're going to look at it and just stare at it well, all the all time. all they do is poo. You see, it's hard... Really? If you're going to be obsessed about your baby, for the first three months, what they do is poo. Mm -hmm. So you have to sort of get, you have to go with it and right. kind of get obsessed with poo. You know, so you, did you work out for this film, for uh, the, the film that you were in? No, I didn't work out for Master and Commander because no. I could be a skinny doctor, but then I, I had to go on and play a tennis player in, in Wimbledon and I had to oh. work out and I had an induction with this, um, this this guy who sort of trained people who fought in Vietnam or something. It was it, it, because that was the only person that would make me get out of my bed. Uh huh. Um, and I I hyperventilated on the running machine <laughs> and had to be laying down on the floor yeah. like that. And All right. Well, round. you you need the Zumba dance workout is what you need. No, that's, that, that's the last thing on yeah. earth that I need. All right. Well. <laughs> All right, well, then we'll stick to your acting, which is what you're, you're good at. <laughs> okay. uh, you brought a clip from Master and Commander, yeah. and uh, you're a doctor, and Russell Crowe, you, you and Russell Crowe are chatting here. Yeah. Master and Commander, the far side of the world is in theaters now. Thank you so much for being here, Paul. Such a pleasure. We'll be right back.